just reached the top of the mountain. It's about four and a half thousand feet higher than where our truck first got stuck. We came in this smaller SUV, which is now broken down at the top of the mountain. We managed to get 15 bags of rice. As soon as we can get the truck fixed, we're going to start shuttling back and forth to bring all 200 bags up here. But for the time being, we're stuck with the people here and we're out of water. And so we're going to have to start using this H2GO unit. This is the unit we've been distributing throughout the earthquake zone here in Nepal. And Diego, who's filming, and I are about to have to rely on this ourselves to purify the little water that we can get up here. And so we've just sent a villager to go get some salt. We're going to make some chlorine purify this water that this guy's just bought in this dirty bottle and that's going to be our drinking water for the rest of the day so uh, thank you h2go thank you lifesaver so this kind woman has just gone and found some salt for us to use to make our chlorine solution so we're going to get going now because everyone's really thirsty thank you so we're just dissolving the solution. Can I fill this up? So you see how it's cooking? So now it's finished cooking. Okay. We're gonna put it in here. Okay? Oh yeah. <laughs> so we'll leave this machine with the community. Okay. You can charge with solar. So this is two liters of water that the villagers have given us. We've put our liquid chlorine in it. It really looks nasty, but we really have no choice. And we really trust our product. So here goes nothing. You can taste the chlorine in it, which is reassuring. Is it drinkable? Yeah. Smell it? You taste it. Do you like it? It's a pure. Yeah, I like it. <laughs>